Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and this is video 9 of our Facebook series and we're going to go to our account and we're going to look at our account settings for the moment. So there's quite a lot of things that we can do. So as you can see we're on general and in general we've got our old new name which they got when we signed up. However you can edit it so you can put in a middle name, you can put what you want to display, you can change your surname. So if you get married, that's quite a cool thing. So you could change that. So why don't I put my maiden name in here and see what it tells me to do. Oh, it's giving me choices of how it's going to display. First name first or last name first. Um, I can put an optional name. So if I had a nickname or anything, I could put it in here. Actually, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to put the social media cafe. See what happens with that. And I'm going to save that and see what it does. Oh, it doesn't like apostrophes. Didn't know how to put any in, but hey. See if we're going to get away with this. That will be quite fun if we do. We can put little starry things. Oh, how cool is this? <laughs> so, I've put a different name in there. Let's see what happens. And I've saved my changes. So, username. This is how people are going to find me. And I might want to put a username in here. It's not allowing me to save changes. Oh, there we go, done it. Now, I have set my username on my personal account. You can only do this once, so get it right. Now, quite a lot of people in the past have accidentally changed their fan page, or what they thought was their fan page name, on their personal user. That's not a good thing. So, get this right. If you screw it up once, you can change it. You can't then change it again. Get it right, okay? So, I might want to put my maiden name on here. And it's going to tell me, oh, that's not available. So I can't actually do that. Somebody else shares my name. Now, I might be able to get away with an underscore. Nope. I can't. So, what I had to do last time was put UK on the end, and that's exactly what I did. So, I can have that username should I so desire. Actually, I don't want to change it, so I'm just going to cancel it. If I want to change the password, I can change that here. I'm going to put my current password, my new password, and then retype my new password. If I think it's either been compromised or I'm not sure I'm going to remember what it is again. Networks. I can add networks on here. These were mainly set up for things like the colleges and unis and what are the things that you want to do. And they do come next to your name. So if you have joined any, you can just add them here. Linked accounts. Now, there's varying different accounts that you can actually add to here. You can add Google, MySpace, Yahoo, an open ID, a very sign, or a different open ID. I'm not going to link any accounts on here, and I'm just going to shut that for now. English. Now, Facebook is primarily English but has added lots and lots of others to here. Um, English UK is normal. Certain times of the year you might want to be a pirate and it changes your words to reading pirate speak. You might want to confuse your friends and do it upside down. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to stick to English because it's easier to communicate and you can just save that. Now, one thing that I would point out to you, when you do start doing something on Facebook, 
you might wish to download a copy of your data to keep it in case anything happens and that's what you do here and it will email it to you it will ask you to confirm it with your password it will send it to the email address that you have given it which is here and you can change that I personally wouldn't be recommending you use a work email address but it is down to you what you're going to use and that is where you change it so I look forward to seeing you on the next video when we're going to talk about security